You join me at Vilnius train station where I'm about to embark on a nine country, nine city voyage across Europe to get back home to the UK before my visa runs out in August. I'm not even monetized on YouTube, so if you could give me a like, give me a subscribe, that'd be amazing. The next city I'm aiming to visit is Krakow. It's probably going to be my longest train journey on this whole entire trip, which is, I think is going to be about 12, 13 hours. So wish me luck on that one. Ah, Mokava, and this is my train. So this is going to be my home for the next, I think, two and a half hours. A half hour layover in Mokava, nine hour, 10 hour train to crack out. It's hot, it's muggy, what more can you ask for? And also, I've just learned through the tunnel that it's much Carver and Krakow. Every day you learn something new. She just had to change onto another train. And I don't think really anybody knows what's going on. Do you have your seat? Uh, no, but somewhere at that side. I don't think anyone really knows what's going on. We move into another carriage. Oh, this looks like it's so they're closing all the time. Be careful. The camera. Nine and a half hours and there's no Wi-Fi. Oh no. No, that's my camera. It was, we just passed from through into Poland and there was no basically all the security guards just came through and stuff. Well I say all like three or four security guards came through and didn't really cause anything. There was no checking. It was quite funny though, a guy, as I got on, was just walked up to me and said, am I high? And I was like, no, he was like, I'm high. So I just hate to think what he felt like when he saw like three or four security guards coming into there, but dang, so far so good. But no Wi-Fi on this train, which is a little annoying. just thought about the fact we're only halfway through this entire journey. It's going all right, but I don't know what I'm going to do about food in a bit, but they're not really stopping for anything. And the buffet is just like water and crisps. But I made some friends though, that's quite cool. Uh, we're just chatting and chilling out and stuff, but yeah. Six hours down, six to go. So we've arrived in Krakow now and I think we've got a four minute break but I'm just being very cautious to stay near the doors. It's nice to be in civilization now because it was feeling really gloomy and just desolate but now there's colour, there's sunshine and, and civilization so oh, it's nice to be outside just for a little bit but only another three hours to go, three and a half hours to go dinner. As the day was drawing in, we were treated to some glorious sunsets over Poland, in stark contrast to the desolate grey landscapes we had been staring at for the last 11 hours. This was a welcome change of scenery. Through our tired and weary eyes, we could finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. 
Even after the sun had set, we were treated to some eerie mist glazing itself over the trees before we headed into Krakow train station. Finally getting out of the road. I've got to walk, it's just around the corner. Oh. And there we go, 12 grueling hours later, I've finally arrived in Kragov and I'm stoked to be here. I think it's like my 33rd country total and then my 18th nomadic country. So really cool to be here. I don't know whether I'll end the vlog here because I just don't know how these are going to turn out. Might include the next days, but regardless. This is leg one of this crazy European train journey back home for August. So uh, if you're keen on that, make sure you give us a subscribe and I guess I'll see you in the next one.